You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. This is brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And welcome to the WBT. This is Mike Lodge. It's a beautiful morning. Well, to tell you the truth, the clouds are up. We have a chance of showers. I don't remember when California had so much rain, but it seems to be getting more and more, which is good because we really need it. The lakes need to be filled up. The trees need to drink some water. So we need the rain. It's very important that we have that rain. So I'm up at, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'm recording this podcast. A lot of people ask me, what what, what in the world? How do you keep a busy schedule? And yeah, it begins at 5 o'clock in the morning, so I can record the podcast. I do two blogs, and then uh, I study what is happening out there in the news and the business world. And then off to the office I go. A little bit of meditation, a little bit of prayer. And then I'm off to my office in Burbank. It happens every single morning. Now, if I'm in South Carolina at my home, I have a full recording studio where I've got the monitors, I've got a nice, nice professional microphone that makes my voice sound really good. But here in California, when I'm on travel, I use my cell phone. Not the best microphone in the world, but it gets the message out, right? So I'm not going to worry about the quality of the sound, but the quality of the content of the message I want to give you. Yesterday, I spent the whole day on a client, new client, tax return. But before you can do the tax return, you have to do a financial statement. Now, I shouldn't be doing the financial statement. The client should have brought me a financial statement, but he didn't. So he has three companies. He has a clothing store. He has a a technology store where he sells cell phones and all sorts of uh, services. And then he has a real estate company. Now, the problem with this whole situation is I'm glad that he's busy in business, but the problem, as soon as I produce the financials, you can see that he hasn't been paying attention to what he's been doing. If you are not preparing your financials for your company, you don't know where you stand. You don't know how much money you're losing. You don't know if your profit or your margin on your products that you're selling, you don't know it. So if your profit margin is not covering your expenses and your operating costs and your cost of goods when you purchase your items, you have a big problem. And this is what I'm seeing with a lot of small small businesses. They're so enthusiastic about making money, but they forget about the process that it takes to monitor what you're doing as you're making money. Let me tell you, when you're operating a business, it's not all about the money. It's about the operational flow that you need to get your hands and heads around. Now, this guy, this client, is losing money, tremendous amount of money. He's had to take money out of his 401k plan, retirement plan. He cashed it out in order to cover the cost of running this little businesses that he has. So we have a problem, and that is if you do not monitor how you're running your business through your financial statements, you are going to run it right into the ground. Unless you get some help, 
Now, I'm sitting here helping him, and we're going to do some action items to get him back on track. So, if you don't hire the right people to guide you, you're going to lose a lot of money if you do not pay attention to your financial statements. Have you gone through the process to price out your products that you're selling or the services that you are selling? If you haven't done that, then you are throwing money right down the drain. If you don't know what the unit cost per item is, what your markup should be to cover your operating expenses and then come out with a profit at the end you're going to be in trouble remember when you're running retail operations your profit margins are so slim as it is so one bad mistake one bad decision or one non-thought process of looking at what you should be doing you can just be throwing money right out the window So we have an issue with small business. And the issue is that you are not paying attention to the detail of your financial statements. You know, if you look at your financial statements, you can literally see what you are doing right and what you are doing wrong. And a lot of you are doing things wrong because you haven't hired anybody to help you along the way to set the processes in motion For you to make money. You have to operate. But you have to operate smart. And you're not doing it. So I want you to take the time. To sit down with your accountant. Or sit down with me. And we will scrub your numbers. Scrubbing the numbers means. Creating a financial statement. And then going line by line. To see where we can make changes. To make you more efficient. That's where the questions and the answers come from, is by looking at your financial statement. It's not just about how much cash you have in the bank, because that cash can go away in a, in, in a blink of an eye because of bad management style. You need to sit down and understand where you are through your financial statement. You need to be looking at your income statement and you need to be looking at your balance sheet because on the balance sheet is going to tell you how much people owe you and how much you owe people. And that amount of that one line that says accounts payable of the people who you pay is should be your focus to get rid of de- any kind of debt that you have. But you also need to focus on that accounts receivable line and why have you not collected from those clients? Why are those clients using you as a bank to operate their business as they don't pay you? So you've got to become aggressive on that. Stop being a bank for other businesses. That's not your job. Your job is to provide income to your employees and to yourself. But if you're not doing it, if you're not looking at your financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, you'll never know where you stand and that's so vital. So do the right thing. Do the smart thing. Do the common sense thing. And that is get more involved in the financial statements of your company it's very very important this is mike lodge for the wbt if you have any questions just send me an email at mlodge at lodge dash co dot com and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions everybody go out focus on your financial statements call somebody to help you call me to help you if you need to 888-681-1518 And I'll be more than happy to sit down through Skype or through 
a, a, a meeting in my office, I'll be more than happy to do it. But let's get it done, guys, because we want our businesses to be a success. I'll talk with you very, very soon. You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services.